This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Mathis Jim Barbara in Dublin today at the National Stadium. With me I've got two-time Irish champion Peter McDonough as he looks to add a third title to that hall. Um, standing in his way is Irishman Dean Byrne. A bit strange that Dean won at the press today. I was expecting some fireworks from you two. I, I think he was going to do another eight round, 148 rounds before they come. You know, we, we, uh, where does that come from, that saying? I don't know, just, uh, I'm sure I've heard it on an interview that he'd done 140 rounds with Khan or something, you know? Big quote. It's mad how you get 140 rounds in your head, though. Big quote. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had Dean Byrne on the channel, he's done uh, some interviews with Sonny Donnelly recently in the build-up to this. You've not been around, you've not been available, you've been away out of camp, but have you watched what Dean sort of said and his thoughts on the fight so far? Um, you know what, I ain't, I ain't took much notice of it. Obviously, I always uh, watch our film, support our film, but uh, I don't. I ain't watched too much on him to be honest with you. But he's, um, I, 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 I don't know, like you know, some things he's talking about, saying that you know he, his missus punches harder than me and all that sort of stuff. It's just delusional. But I don't know whether he's just not an educated person, you know. What did you make of the fact that he he called you a plastic paddy, Pete? Uh, very disrespectful, you know, and. Um, I don't take that very kindly, you know. He says to me one minute he's my mate, the next minute he's calling me a plastic paddy, which is the worst thing you can call someone, you know. Do you think that's, he's trying to sort of build up the fight a little bit as much as anyone else? Yeah, maybe. Maybe he might mean, not mean nothing by it, you know. And he, he wants to build it up, and but the fight don't need building up. It's going to be a good fight, isn't it, you know. Listen, I know I mock you and say you are from Bermondsey, but you are a genuine Irishman. You take that, you are quite proud of that, aren't you? Yeah, no, listen, I'm from, Gal I'm from Galway, you know, and uh, I moved to Ireland when I was young. Um, I moved to England when I was young, but obviously, you know, I got bullied when I, when I first moved to England for being Irish, so, uh, you know, and, and that's why I started boxing. So it was a saviour being Irish, because this is where I am today with my boxing. Dean Byrne, you've come right into his backyard, so to speak. He's not far from originally him and his family. He'll have a massive contingent here. No doubt you'll have a good support here, but does that sort of put more pressure on you coming in, into his sort of area? Nah, not at all, James. You know, I've done, it's, you know my career, the fights I've had, um, you know, I'm not phased by anything. I went to Ireland, I went to Dundalk and fought in front of 2,000 people uh, at the homecoming of um, Paddy Murphy. But I absolutely gate across the party, you know, and smashed him. So that's what I'm going to do come Saturday night. Yeah. You've won the Irish title twice, as we spoke about. Notably, yeah. biggest win against Michael Gomez. And yeah. It was pure underdog for that fight. And as it well. was here. And it, it was that's here. what I mean. And it was here. Does, do you draw inspiration from that? Yeah, because um, that's that's where the Cinderella story comes from. The Cinderella man comes from because it ain't. It, it don't come from you know. Uh, uh, the way I look at it, the way I like to put it across to people is, if you lose, yeah. You can always come back. Man United don't win every week and they're one of the best teams in the world, you know? And what you got to realise is, James, it, if you can keep going, you can fulfil your dreams, you know? Mm -hmm. Have you got aspirations to maybe challenge, if you come through this, yeah. for, at a higher level of belt? And I'm not, I don't mean that in a bad way, but you've, you've been in some massive fights. Yeah. And if anyone was due a shot or something, yeah. it's probably yourself. Yeah, um, like we, we ain't spoke about it yet, obviously, because we got to get out Saturday night out of the way. There's things, in, there's things in place, but um, obviously, to speak to Daniel, my manager, and uh, listen, I've won the title. When it comes to Saturday night, it'd be three times. So I'll be free weight Irish champion, which I think it's time for me to move on. And I really, really would love a shot at the European against the winner of Branko and Malinaji. I mean. Same for Dean Byrne, this is a real important fight for him, it's a crossroads fight for him. Yeah. Does that add more to it, in your opinion? I said, if I don't win Saturday night, James is over. You know, so I, I love putting pressure on myself because I love pressure because I can handle pressure. I've got to say, you're looking in the best nick I've seen you look in the last probably three to four years. Yeah, because if it all goes wrong Saturday night, I have to go out to modelling, won't I? <laughs> What's that? Crash helmet modelling, hand modelling. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke to me a little this outfit. You're looking very debonair. I'm liking the suit, I'm liking the tie. And we go down. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, they're, they're off a sponsor, you guys. Harry's, oh, Harry's I'm not mocking them. I'm not yeah. mocking them. Listen, they're from a sponsor, that's fair enough. So what, what, what's your plan then? What's the story now? What do you do now from now to sort of the way in? Just relax, um, st stay in a hotel, been put in a beautiful hotel. Um, everything's done for me. I had someone to come and do me gumshoot yesterday. You know, things that I've never, I've never had in my career, you know, James, and I'm taking them with both hands now, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, every, like, before it was, I was the matchmaker, I was the manager, I was a trainer, I was, I was everything, you know? But now it's all left to MGM, and all I've got to do now is fight, so it's the easy part, and I love fighting.
I know you do. Listen, I wish you and Dean Byrne the best of luck. I'm expecting a great fight. Thank you for talking oh, to IFL TV. I want to ask you a question. Which way do you think this is going to go this week? What do you mean? What's your points not goes? What do you reckon? He's going to get knocked out. Really? I'll put my predictions on this, alright? Really. Dean's a friend of mine. He's a very good friend of mine. I sparred both of them. But I can see it being. It's 10 rounds, isn't it? I can see. I, I have a feeling we go the distance and I can see it being 9 rounds to 1 to pee. You're just saying that. No, and that's being honest. Go on, sling your and Dean, Dean's a good friend of mine. Dean's a good friend of mine as well. But I just shared a ring with both of them and I feel that Pete is probably one of the most underrated boxers you'll ever meet. Obviously, me and Tom Stark, I tell you, we shared it, and he makes our life a living hell in that ring. It's so hard it was, to hit. Isn't it? I mean, a living hell. <laughs> so I think it's, I think it's really, it's one of, the, it's gonna probably be the best domestic fight this year easily, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great fight. It's, it's, for, it's really a people's, uh, people's fight. It is. Put the pressure on. Right, I'm trying to give you a fucking lift home. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, on that note, thank you very much for your time. I do appreciate Cheers, it, James. and uh, make sure you put your seatbelt on the way that lunatic drives. Cheers, mate. And we'll catch you soon. That's nice one, thanks, James.